Hello, how are you? My name is Alejandro Sandoval and this is the Solar Negocios video blog with a summary of the Solar Negocios bulletin for today, August the 8th, 2018. The Mexican peso got appreciated given that the Bloomberg dollar spot index got down. This is uh, basically, it, it implies that the US dollar got depreciated against uh, other exchange rates such as the Mexican peso. And then, well, this uh, abroad element of the volatility set is maybe the main one, along with trade war, which we'll talk about it in a few seconds. But the deal is basically that abroad elements are the ones influencing more the, the Mexican peso rather than internal ones. Maybe what we can interpret from the political stability regarding and surrounding the presidential election, and uh, right now all the meetings and, and projects that are being expressed by Mr. Lopez Obrador, uh, the former, the future president of Mexico, will, ha, had not been interfering with the exchange rate market at least. So that uh, diminishes the chances of pressures from that point of view. And then the abroad, the foreign pressures are the ones that are important. For this matter, the trade war maybe as the relevant element since April, which depreciated the Mexican peso strongly until June the 15th, is the one that right now, on even days, regularly uh, is, is basically putting more strong pressure day by day or every time that it becomes available news about it. The one that has more weight on the, on, on the volatility set right now for the Mexican peso. Well, in, in this regards, trade war today was announced a new round of US tariffs against China. China has read there's a retaliation for those tariffs. And this didn't only affect the Mexican peso, which today, again, got appreciated, but one of the negative uh, elements that got, uh, that appeared today was a trade war announcement. Well, also in the oil market, where all the data was supposed to increase its worth or the value of every barrel on every mix of barrels that we announce here. Well, in the contrary, it diminished the price. Why? Because the trade war is escalating and the presumption that this will slow the economic growth worldwide and then it will slow the demand for oil worldwide then obviously brings basically a bad scenario for oil and for uh, all the industry around it. So uh, oil went down given mainly the trade war even when the rest of data for oil was good. Which one? Oil, uh, energy, um, the Energy Information Agency inventories reported today went down as expected. Well, uh, even uh, more, more it, it was greater the loss of inventories this week rather than what as it was expected. Also, uh, the US dollar got depreciated. It helps the value of, of oil. And also, the perception of oversupply in the market is diminishing so one way or the other the, the data should bring up the value of oil but trade war by itself pushes it down at least today and could keep pushing it down in the following weeks in terms of nafta the president of the, of the business council in mexico juan pablo castañón declared that there's a great possibility of reaching an agreement this month for nafta if basically us is convinced there have been sacrifices by Mexico, by Canada, and even by the U.S. So we will see what happens. It seems, for example, that the Sunset Clause, this one that is uh, looking forward to revise NAFTA every five years, if not terminated, uh, then it was. It seems that it was uh, eliminated by the U.S. in these sacrifices in the negotiation. We will see what happens. Since the beginning, it was a clause to be eliminated, but well, anyways. Uh, Banco de Mexico exchange coverages or hedges were demanded 2.7 times more than the amount offered. This implies a little bit more volatility than yesterday. The support for the wholesale market is 18 pesos per dollar, resistant 18.76. Spread shows a lesser volatility in banks. And futures, an improvement in the trend. Basically, the linear trend, it's appreciation for any measure, either banks, local uh, exchange stores here in Juarez or interbankary uh, exchange rates from Banco de Mexico. This is what we have of information for today. 
uh, please read or analyze the information we have available on the Solo Negocios editorial and the Solo Negocios video blog for the Northern Border program that will be put in place for the next government. And we'll, we'll keep in touch. Thank you very much for your attention.